Hi and welcome to the session. Today we will learn about exterior angle of a triangle and its property. First of all let us see how an exterior angle of a triangle is formed. Here we have a triangle ABC. Now an exterior angle of a triangle is formed when a side of a triangle is produced. So suppose we produce the line BC like this and let us name the point D over here. So here angle ACD is in the exterior of triangle ABC. So this is the exterior angle of triangle ABC formed at vertex C. Now, angle ACB of triangle ABC is an adjacent angle to the exterior angle ACD and the two remaining angles of triangle ABC that is angle A and angle B are called interior opposite angles of angle ACD or remote interior angles of angle ACT. Now at each vertex of a triangle say ABC there are two ways of forming an exterior angle. That is, if we produce side BC of triangle ABC, then at vertex C, angle ACD is an exterior angle. And if we produce side AC, then angle BCE is an exterior angle at vertex C. Now let's see an important property related to exterior angle of a triangle. This states, that an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of its interior opposite angles. Now here we have triangle ABC and we have produced the side BC of triangle ABC. So here angle ACD is an exterior angle of triangle ABC. So according to this property we have angle ACD is equal to the sum of its interior opposite angles that is angle A plus angle B. Now let's see how we get this. Here we have drawn line segment CE parallel to BA. Now AB is parallel to AC and AC is transversal. That means angle A is equal to angle ACE as they are alternate angles. So we get angle A is equal to angle ACE. Again AB is parallel to EC and BD is transversal. That means angle B will be equal to angle ECD as they are corresponding angles. So here we have angle B is equal to angle ECD. Now adding these two we get angle A plus angle B is equal to angle ACE plus angle ECT. Now angle ACE plus angle ECD is equal to angle ACD. That means angle A plus angle B is equal to angle ACD. Thus this implies that the exterior angle ACD is equal to the sum of its interior opposite angles. That is angle A and angle B. Now this relation 
between an exterior angle and its two interior opposite angles is known as exterior angle property of a triangle. Now our next topic is angle sum property of a triangle. This property states that the total measure of the three angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. That is, in triangle PQR, sum of angle P, angle Q and angle R, that is, the three angles of the triangle PQR will be equal to 180 degrees. Now, let's see how we get this. Here, we have triangle PQR and now, suppose we name the angles of this triangle as angle 1, angle 2 and angle 3. Now, let us extend the side QR. So, here, angle 4 is the exterior angle of triangle PQR. Now, by the exterior angle property of a triangle, we get that the exterior angle, that is angle 4, is equal to the sum of interior opposite angles. That is angle 1 and angle 2. So angle 4 is equal to angle 1 plus angle 2. Now let us add angle 3 on both the sides. So we get angle 4 plus angle 3 is equal to angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3. Now angle 4 and angle 3 form a linear pair. So that means angle 4 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degrees. So let us replace angle 4 plus angle 3 by 180 degrees. We get 180 degrees is equal to angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3. Thus, this implies that sum of three angles, that is angle 1, angle 2 and angle 3 of a triangle PQR is equal to 180 degrees. Now let's take an example. Here, we are given a triangle ABC in which angle ACD is equal to 120 degrees is an exterior angle. Angle B is given to be 50 degrees and we need to find the values of X and Y. Now here, angle ACD is an exterior angle. So, by the exterior angle property of a triangle, we know that angle ACD will be equal to Angle A plus angle B, that is the sum of interior opposite angles. Substituting the values, we get angle ACD, that is 120 degrees, is equal to angle A, that is X plus angle B, that is 50 degrees. So this implies X is equal to 120 degrees minus 50 degrees, which is equal to 70 degrees. So here, X is equal to 70 degrees. Now, in triangle ABC, using the angle sum property of a triangle, we have angle A plus angle B plus angle ACB is equal to 180 degrees. Substituting the values, we get 70 degrees plus 50 degrees plus Y is equal to 180 degrees. That means Y is equal to 180 degrees minus 70 degrees minus 50 degrees, which is equal to 60 degrees. Thus, the value of Y is equal to 60 degrees. Thus, in this session, we have learnt about exterior angle property of a triangle and angle sum property of a triangle. With this, we finish this session. Hope you must have understood all the concepts. Goodbye, take care and keep smiling.